In the name of the one whose saving love has come, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. There is more grace in our world than we will ever know. Like the shepherds outside Bethlehem, in this moment, we watch and listen tuned to the horizon on this holy night. Some might prefer to turn inward, nestled into familiar landscapes. Others stretch, ears straining, muscles tense, striving to respond faithfully as heirs to the hope of this heavenly proclamation. The angels invite us to surrender to the voice of love asking us to lay down our fear and to open ourselves to wonder. Even though we scarcely can make sense of the disarming chorus that rings out in the darkness. Not unlike another calm, starlit Christmas Eve in 1876, a steamboat on the Delaware River carrying holiday travelers, among them American gospel singer Ira D. Sankey. When passengers aboard recognized Sankey, they begged the celebrity to sing for them. Sankey paused to consider what Christmas song he might offer. The lyrics to this hymn came to mind instead. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Much we need thy tender care. In thy pleasant pastures feed us, for our use thy folds prepare. Grace Macmillan, who relates this story, notes how stillness descended over that audience that had assembled on deck. At the end of the song, a stranger stepped forward, asking Sankey whether he'd served in the Union Army. Yes. In the spring of 1860, Sankey said, Do you remember doing picket duty on a bright night in 1862, the man asked. Surprised, Sankey replied, Indeed I do. Were you? The man had served on the Confederate side. He went on to share. He had seen Sankey at his post and had thought to himself, That fellow will never get out of here alive. Hidden in the shadows, the man took careful aim. He further explained, that night you walked in full moonlight, and then you sang, just as you did a moment ago. The very same song, the music reached my heart. I took my finger off the trigger. I figured I would wait until the end of the song and shoot afterwards. And then you reached that place where it says, we are thine, do thou befriend us, be our guardian of our way. I could hear every word you sang perfectly. It made me think of my childhood, my mother, who loved God and had sung that song to me many times. She died all too soon. At the end of the song, I could not raise my musket again. It was impossible for me to aim, though you still stood in full moonlight, a perfect target. The man admitted, I thought of the Lord as I looked at you and marveled. The God who saved that man from certain death must surely be great and mighty. But I didn't know what to do. Just now, as you were standing quietly about to sing, I recognized you. I wandered far and wide throughout the world, and I've never yet found that shepherd. Could you help me now find the cure for my soul? Sankey embraced the man on the spot, and in that Christmas moonlight, a former soldier finally encountered a tender shepherd as his savior, with the help of one who he thought had been his enemy. At Christmas, we still our hearts and dare to bear witness to the impossible promise, 
alongside all who have strained to perceive the song of saving love. Jesus' birth changes everything. Peace will reign on earth, God's love already transforming humankind. Amid the disorientation of a frenzied world, often short on goodwill, weighed down by hidden disappointments, fearful about an uncertain future, humanity can struggle to comprehend these strange tidings of Christmas. Not unlike those shepherds on the hills outside Bethlehem. Yet there is more grace in this world than we will ever know. Because love incarnate has come. Love with us. Love for us. It coaxes us with innocence. Cooing like an infant. Satisfied at its mother's breast. Its tenderness enfolds us from the inside out like the mesmerizing rhythms of a heartbeat. We fall silent in awe of the glory of the vulnerability of God reaching out to us in love. Though we spend fortunes and lifetimes chasing the precious hum of this tender mercy, love echoes all around us. Unexpected gift, sudden grace. Quieted by this miraculous power, we know life can never be the same. 